in today's streaming war. I want to give a shout out to Curtis King that's bringing this to light. Had a panel sit down with Snoop Dogg and they're discussing how the streams don't equate to what the streaming pays out. Let's let's take a listen to Curtis King real quick. Emphasizing traffic to these streaming platforms. It's an exciting time. Really, it is. I must say, you know. It's, it's an exciting time for people who got who got the money. It's exciting for those who have figured out how to how to pimp the system. I mean, can somebody explain to me how you can get a billion streams and not get a million dollars? Well, let's talk about it. If you have 10,000 followers on IG, 10,000 followers on Twitter, 10,000 followers on Facebook that is ready to buy your album. Let's look at this pay chart because this pay chart is just really fucking silly now i don't want to have a discourage to people who are willing to put out their albums as far as the distro kid if you really want to put out music by all means go ahead and put out your music but i just think it's just a marketing ploy for a distro kid to receive 20 to 30 dollars annually to keep your album up on their playlists and they benefit the most. Let's look at the payout for streams. Amazon Music, four tenths of a cent. Four tenths of a cent. So for 250,000 streams, you get $1,000. One tenth of a cent. Apple Music is the shittiest. 100,000 streams get you $1,000. Deezer, 64 tenths of a cent. Look at uh, Spotify, 33 tenths of a cent. So you have to have 303,000 streams to get $1,000. You know, as they say, the music industry is shady. This is real shady practice. And, and, and shout out to all those out there that's on strike being monetized yearly and the pay rate for writers is anywhere near this we're in a bad situation all around let me let him continue with this accounts for 0.004 pay per stream you need 250,000 streams to get to a thousand dollars when you think about this from a traffic standpoint isn't that absolutely ridiculous it is ridiculous. Thing is that these companies are making money hand over fist over artists hard work, not only with the payout rate, but also with the subscription money that they generate each year. It's nonsense for them to pay out so little when the artist is giving so much and not getting anything in return from streaming. Imagine being a marketer or having a promotion company and somebody hires you and they say, we want to get more visibility for our business. How about we give you 0.004 if you can bring in 250,000 customers. If you can bring that amount of people to my particular platform, you know what? I'll give you $1,000. The ones that are respectable are going to look at that and laugh in your face. This is a laughing matter. This is a laughing matter. There is no way that these streaming platforms are paying out so little. And I hate to say it, the 1% that's really getting most of this revenue because they have marketing, they have PR, they have people that are backing their financial gain where Regular artists like you and me will never see, will never get to generate nowhere near the amount of money as these top artists are. That's weird. Like, that shit don't make sense to me. Like, I don't know who the fuck running the streaming industry, if you in here or not. Mind you, he in a room full of techs, so they might have been in there. They was in there, probably the ones not laughing, they was like... My records would sell based off of physical. If you sold a million copies, that means if $9.99, $9 million, you get this percentage, that's what it is. In that era that he's referring to, physical copies, that's when you could go into a record store and buy a right. single. Now, physical copies, we all cherish physical copies back in the day i'm not sure about what it is with physical copies versus digital copies it shouldn't be a discussion of how they are getting paid but physical copies is physical copies 
if you had an album for fourteen ninety nine, the artist probably, and I don't want to assume, but probably got thirty to forty cent on a physical copy. So you were probably getting more than you are now, right? So what what changed? Billion streams, you're not even getting a million dollars. So I don't understand how they can come to the conclusion of how artists are getting paid. A lot of artists are not getting paid. That's why artists are always doing shows because that's the money. When you're doing your shows, you're getting your paper. So, and that's, you know, the whole issue with this, this digital age. I want to make sure that, you know, you hear this, you know, because we're moving into a new era now where AI is getting ready to take over and it's going to be 10 times worse far as paying producers because they probably won't even pay producers now because AI is going to generate the track form. So the producer community is going to be extinct engineering we already know they already have ai generated mastering houses that can generate your song within five minutes people out there that's doing mastering is more likely going to be out of a job more so 50 percent of the the market out there as far as job is going to be eliminated within 10 to 20 years so this is a big problem and I always said when the Terminator came out in 84, they predicted this. This is what's going on right now. All right. It's not so far fetched now. We are living in real endless times and AI is going to take over and it's going to create a world dominance with the whole market. Big shout out to Curtis King for giving us this insight with Snoop. Snoop was like, yo, I'm not getting paid what I'm getting paid, period. Make sure you click the like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this whole this whole war about getting paid from streaming platforms to AI. Do you agree with it? I think, you know, most people will say that they're not getting their fair share in the money. Make sure you click the like and subscribe and we're going to see you again. Thanks. Peace.